This is a video called Stoichiometry Part 2. And why is this video called Stoichiometry Part 2? I'll tell you why. Because you didn't have enough fun when you did Stoichiometry Part 1. You were having so much fun, we figured, hey, we've got to go back and do more stoichiometry. So we're doing Stoichiometry Part 2. This is a video on mole to gram and gram to mole stoichiometric calculations. As you can see in the title. I will show you how to do these calculations by going straight to an example. How many grams of NH3 are produced when 3.6 moles of H2 reacts according to the following equation? So, in this case, you are given 3.6 moles of H2. We want to find out the quantity of NH3. In the previous video, we were looking for the number of moles of NH3, but not in this video. In this video, we actually want to get the number of grams. We're going to solve this in two parts. Part 1, we're going to solve for the number of moles of NH3 that are produced. We will do this just like we did in the Part 1 video. So first, we write down the chemical equation. Then we write down the stoichiometric relationship. Remember, for every one mole of N2 that reacts, 3 moles of H2 must react with it, and we'll get 2 moles of NH3. We go to the problem, and we find the amount that is given, 3.6 moles of H2, which we're going to put above H2, and then the thing that we're looking for is the number of grams of NH3, so we're going to put question mark over the NH3. In order to solve this, we recall that this is a 3 to 2 relationship, and so this must also be a 3 to 2 relationship. So, remember, take 3.6, multiply across times the 2, and then go back and divide by the 3. 3.6 moles times 2 moles divided by 3 moles is equal to 2.4 moles of NH3. Now that we have the quantity of NH3 in moles, we will perform a second part and convert it to grams. We can now ignore all of the equations and the calculations we did in the previous slide and just use skills that we learned in a previous video to convert moles to grams. We will first find the mass of one mole of NH3. So, NH3 contains one N, which has a mass of 14 grams per mole. One times 14 grams per mole gives us 14. And there are three H's, each one having a mass of 1.02 grams per mole we multiply the 3 times 1.02 grams per mole, we get 3.06 grams. When we add those up, we get 17.06 grams per mole. Then, using our diagram from help, we're going to convert moles to grams. Remember our diagram. It looks like this. The arrow showing that we're going from moles to grams. This arrow showing that we're going from grams to moles. Remember, we have 2.4 moles of NH3, which we want to convert to grams. So we have 2.4 moles of NH3, which we want to convert to grams. So we're going to take the 2.4 moles, we're going to multiply it times the molar mass to get the number of grams. The 2.4 moles is multiplied times the 17.06 grams per mole to get an answer of 40.9 grams of NH3. Perfect. Let's try another problem that is similar to the last. We will follow the same steps. Step 1. What's the problem? How many grams of N2 are required to react with 0.68 moles of H2 according to the following equation? Well, of course, as we said in the previous example, first thing we do is to rewrite the balanced chemical equation. Second thing we do is to write out the stoichiometric relationship. Going back up to the problem, we see that we're starting with 0.6 moles of H2, and we're trying to find out how much N2 in grams. So we put the 0.68 over the H2, and we put question mark over N2. And we're going to multiply 0.68 times 1 and divide it by 3, because if this is a 3 to 1 relationship, this should also be a 3 to 1 relationship. So 0.68 times 1 divided by 3. 0.68 times 1 divided by 3 gives us 0.23 moles of N2. 
So remember, we've got the number of moles of N2. That's great, but we want to know how many grams of N2. So we're going to ignore the equation. We're going to ignore this calculation right here. All we need is the answer to the number of moles of N2 because we're going to take the number of moles of N2 and convert it to grams of N2. And of course, the first thing we need to know is the mass of one mole of N2. Since there are two N's in an N2, and it has a mass of 14.00 grams per mole, the mass of one mole, the molar mass of N2, is 28.00 grams. Let's remember our nice little diagram that helps us to figure out because we have 0.23 moles of N2 and we want to convert that to grams. Moles times the mass of one mole, the molar mass, gives us grams. So we're going to take the 0.23 moles of N2 that we calculated in the previous slide. We're going to multiply it times the 28 grams per one mole of N2 and we end up with 6.44 grams of N2. We will now do a problem we were we were where excuse me we will now do a problem where we are given the quantity in grams and we want the answer to come out in moles instead we will actually do the same steps we did in the previous two problems but will we need to do them in reverse in terms of the order in which they're done so we're going to do the same two parts we're going to do part one and part two but we're going to do them in reverse part two becomes part one and part one becomes part two so here's the problem it says, how many moles of H2 react when 40.8 grams of N2 react according to the equation 3H2 plus N2 gives us 2NH3? So we want to know how many moles of H2 react when 40.8 grams of N2 reacts according to the same equation. Well, remember, we said we're going to do these steps in reverse. So we're going to take what we did in the previous problem and do that as part one we're going to take the number of grams of N2 and convert it to moles. So, of course, the first thing we do is find the mass of one mole of N2. We know that N2, there are two N's. We multiply it times the mass of one mole, and that gives us 28 grams per mole. We use our little helper here to convert grams to moles. Because remember, we have 40.8 grams of N2, and we want to convert our 40.8 grams of N2 to moles of N2. So remember, to go from grams to moles, we're going to take our grams, we're going to divide it by the molar mass, and that will give us the number of moles. So the 40.08 grams of N2 divided by the mass of one mole of N2, which is 28, gives us 1.46 moles of N2. So you see, we did the second step first in this problem. Now, we're going to use that information, we're going to use the 1.46 moles to solve the problem, how many moles of H2 react. We have to do that now by using the equation. So we're going to take the equation, we're going to write out the stoichiometric relationship, and then we're going to write out above it, H2 is question mark because we're looking for the number of moles of H2. And from the previous thing that we did, we did calculated the number of moles of N2. Remember, this is a 3 to 1 relationship, so this has to be a 3 to 1 relationship. And to solve for it, we take this, multiply it by 3, and divide it by 1. When we take the 1.46 to multiply it times 3 and divide it by 1, we get the wrong answer. That is not the correct answer. I don't know why it's 0.49. Let me take out my calculator. 1.46 times 3 divided by 1. That's 4.38. So the answer should be 4.38. And of course, 4.38 is in a 3 to 1 relationship. And I apologize for giving you the wrong answer. And I hope you'll forgive me, and I hope you'll write it down as 4.38. And I will talk to you later in class. Have a good night.